again, today we are going to look at localization. That is how you change the language in the web drop-in. For this video, we are going to run a sample application on our local machine. You can find all our samples on GitHub in the ADN example organization. In this case, we are going to use the Node.js application. So go to ADN Node Online Payments and grab the code. You can also find all information in more details about localized web drop-in in the ADN docs. Let's start with the demo then. Click on the drop-in option. Uh, we see a shopping cart with the products we want to purchase. And we progress then to checkout where we can choose uh, different payment methods. We're going to choose credit card and we see the old fields and labels are in English. So step number one, we're going to change the locale to Italian. You can do this in the configuration object in your drop-in integration, change the language to Italian and save. And then if you uh, reload the page, we can see that all form and labels are now in a different language. Step number two, we want to translate the name of the payment. Again, let's go into the source code and change the configuration to use the language you want. In this case, we're gonna change the payment method to Carta di Credito. Save and reload the page to confirm the payment name is now in Italian. Step number three. If the default translation don't appear to you or you would like to customize further, you can again change the configuration object and use an attribute called translations. Here we can pass a map with the labels that we want to uh, override and the desired values. For example, we can change the default uh, text placeholder or the payment uh, button. Save the change, reload the screen, and verify that the changes are now live. And that's all. You know now to localize the at the end drop in. Check out our example and stay tuned on this channel for more tutorials and how to videos. Later!